gliding contests come in three varieties. Traditional contests, Grand Prix for the new age edgy kind of racer and Enterprise for those who like a slower, more casual pace of racing. A traditional contest is one to two week long event. Each day a new task is set based on the weather and the fastest round the task wins a thousand points with all the other competitors scaled depressingly from that. At the end of the week, whoever's got the most points wins the contest. Some might not make it home, they don't get many points. There are two types of tasks set by the slightly sadistic task setters each morning. Racing tasks, small turn points that you have to go around, fastest home wins, nice and simple. Second type is AAT tasks, these are designed to confuse people. They have a minimum set time to get around the task, they also have big circles giving the pilot choice about where they're going to go in those circles. Fastest home wins, don't come home early otherwise you're penalised heavily. The start line opens and pilots have allegedly three hours to cross the start line. If you don't get home, you get to experience the beauty and majesty of the countryside from ground level. You might still get some points depending on how far you manage to stumble your way around the course. A Grand Prix is a completely new, different beast that was created more recently. It has a proper start line. Everyone crosses it at the same time. First one home wins 10 points, including a bonus point. Second place gets eight points third place seven points and so forth. It's designed to really simplify gliding contests for both spectators and competitors. Enterprise contests, these are for people who don't actually like racing and just want to ticky tour around the countryside collecting bonus points like Pokemon as you travel around. Whoever goes furthest usually wins. And that's gliding contests explained in 100 seconds. Don't forget to buy a t-shirt. Lots of new gliders available now.